is a little round planet of a really nice guy. that someone's up to jingle jangle high jinks. Wishing that Clanky Claws would leave a zillion toys under the tree. Oli, Clanky Claws doesn't always buy everything you ask for. He doesn't have to buy them, because Clanky Claws can build anything, can't he? Well. Yeah. special ornament. Gently. This star's been on top of every poly jingle jangle tree since I was just a little sprocket myself. <laughs> hey, you want to clip old Starry on the tree this year, Oli? Yeah! Why don't we let Zoe put Starry on the tree this year? Me hang Starry! Take it slow, Zoe. Okay, Zo. It was an accident. Poor Starry. Oh, happy fix. Uh, the pieces are too old and brittle to put back together. I don't think anyone can fix old Starry. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let me talk to him. Poor thing. I know you didn't mean to break, Starry Zoe. Sometimes old things break easy. That's just the way things are. Poor Starry. Bedtime! Bedtime! <laughs> Bedtime, sleepy time, jammy time too. Come on, Zoe. We gotta get to bed before Clanky Claus comes. Clanky Claus fix Starry? No, oh, I don't think so. I'll bet Clangy Claws can fix it. Psst, Zoe! Oli? Shh! We can get Clanky Claws to fix Starry for us. He can fix anything. Clanky Claws fix Starry? You betcha. All we gotta do is write him a note and tell him what happened. Write note. This has gotta work. Jingle Jangle Day wouldn't be the same without Pappy's story on top of the tree. Ho, 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 ho. 
Trying to sneak up on me. Don't they know all little bots fall asleep on Jingle Jangle Night? Whether they want to or not? <laughs> mm. oh. Delicious. Even better than last year. Sorry, Poochums. No time to play. Clanky Claus has got toys to deliver. <laughs> Presents. Bots. For good little bots. <laughs> that about does it. Ho, ho, ho! Dee dokey. Oh, what have you got there, little fella? Dear Clanky Claus, can you please fix our Pappy's favorite old ornament named Starry? It got broken by an accident and made us all super sad. P.S. If we have to give up some of our toys so you can fix Starry, we don't mind. Your pals, Oli and Zoe. P.S.S. Happy Jingle Jangle Day. We love you. Well, I'll be be jangled. <laughs> if this isn't the sweetest note old Clanky Claus has ever read. Thanks for getting me this note, Spot. You're a swell pup. Now back to sleep. Oh, goodness, that's a pretty bad break, Starry. Let's see what old Clanky can do. He fell asleep! Wait, that note's gone. Starry? Starry fix? Yes! I knew Clanky Claws would fix it! Yay! Thank you, Clanky Claws. Hooey! Would you look at that? <sighs> What's all the hullabaloo? Well, I'll be. Starry, looking brand spanking new! How'd that happen? Clanky Claws did it! Me and Zoe wrote him a note and we snuck downstairs and we waited and waited and we fell asleep and he must have come and read the note and look, presents! He left us presents! Zilly and the presents! Happy Jingle Jangle Day, Pappy. Happy Jingle Jangle Day, my little candy thing. Ah, uh, this is the bestest Jingle Jangle Day ever. Yeppers. The jingle jangle season sure is keen. Jangle jangle. Uh oh, <laughs> Mr. Snow has lost his head. Spot, no spot. Come on, Mr. Snowy, time to put you together. Mr. Snowy gets lonely waiting all year for Jingle Jangle to get here? Mr. Snowy's just a decoration, Ole. He's not real. He sure seems real to me. <laughs> Too bad we can't make Mr. Snowy out of real snow. Have you ever seen snow, Dad? Uh-huh. What's it like? Real snow is a wonderful thing, Ole. Makes the whole world wondrous and wide and full of fun. You can go sledding and sliding and skating and even make snowballs. Too bad it never snows in Polyville. Almost never. Way back when I was knee-high to a sprocket ranch, Mr. Sonny blew a ball, and before you could say jump and jack hammer frost, it got so cold it snowed. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 
That should do it. Okie dokie. Dad, where's his lighty up nose? Bust my bolts. Now where is his lighty up nose? <laughs> 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 Seems Spot has a nose for noses. How about you doing the honors this year, Ole? You betcha, Dad. Presto, Mr. Snowy the Snowbot. Our old friend, Mr. Snowy. Snowy, 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 snowy. Snowy, snowy, snowy. snowy. <laughs> Sure is beautiful. Yeah. Now if it just snow for real. Snow. Sure would be swell to play in it. Yeah. Snow. enough to freeze your gears. Gee, Whirlicruz! Look, so it's snowing! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Snowy. I didn't mean to... Uh... There you go. Oops. <laughs> How's about like this? So, I think he wants us to go sledding. Yay! Yay! But we've got no sled. Wow! A genuine glittering glider. Do you think it can fit three? Mr. Snowy, I guess me and Zoe have to be heading home. You feel lonely? Mr. Snowy be sad. Hey, I've got an idea. No peeking till I tell ya. Okie dokie, you can look now. Now you'll always have somebody to keep you company. Guess we just gave Snowy the best kind of jingle jangle present, so... A friend. Jangly jangly! 
Friendly Friend for Snowy. <sighs> snow, snow, snow. Well, Oli, seems Mr. Sunny blew a bulb. It's snowing! No, no, no! Snowflakes are flying like soap powder on wash day. You've never seen anything like it. <laughs> yeah! <Whoa! laughs> wow! Golly! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Snowy. Ready for our favorite Jingle Jangle Day story? Ready! 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 Okie dokie. <coughs> Was Jingle Jangle Day's Eve when... Wait! Hot talkie! Hot talkie! You're absolutely right, Zoe. We can't start the story without our traditional extra chock-a-block hot chocolate. Hot chocolate! Yay! Hot chocolate! Everyone happy? Hey, what about the marshmallows? You're right, dear. We can't forget the marshmallows. Radio you are, Zoe. <coughs> jingle Jangle Day's Eve. Jangle 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 Jangle. <laughs> Twas Jingle Jangle Day's Eve, when all round the pot, not a buddy was blinking, not chilly, no spot. Box socks were bolted to the mantel quite tight, in hopes that clanky claws would drop in that night. Oli and Zoe were tucked in their beddies, while visions of candy curls whirled in their headies. Mom ratcheted a kerchief, I bolted my cap, while Betty tucked us in for a long poly nap. <laughs> when from up on the lid came a bolt rattling roar, I flopped right off Betty and boinged across the floor. <laughs> Ah, ooh. Whoopsie doodles. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Whoopsie doodles is right. Sorry, Dad. Zoe and I got carried away there. Story, story. Yeah, get back to the story, Dad. <coughs> well, I... Uh... <laughs> you ran right to the door as quick as can be. It threw itself open and what did you see? Clanky claws. <laughs> Not yet, Zoe. I ran right to the door, as quick as can be. It threw itself open, and what did I see? What made my eyes nearly burst from their sockets? Lucky claws! Not yet. First, a glittering <gasps> ship powered by eight super rockets. Lucky claws! I remember now. From his twinkling eye and bright, shiny schnoz, I knew straight away it was old Clanky Claws. The rockets they sputtered as upward they strained, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now whirly, now curly, now zoom and kaboom, on turbo, on blaster, on sonic and boom, to the top of the pot, to the top of the spout, rocket on up and let clanky claws out. So up to the housetop the rockets cha chug with all clanky claws and the toys that he loved. He was rolling, poling, a round bot and stout. Was no way he'd fit down the thin poly spout. So, hmm, eh. 
I guess he had another cookie and went straight to the bubbles. Huh? <laughs> Dad, that's not how it goes. What about the twisty noggin? Twisty noggin, twisty noggin! <laughs> well... Right you are, kids. It's twisty noggin indeed. A clink of his gears and a twist of his noggin. He zipped down the spout as if on a toboggan. <laughs> Dad raced to the fireplace, and what did he see? Old Clanky's black boots sticking out the chimney. I gave a great tug on old Clanky's boot, and out he then popped with a bump and a poop. With creaky old springs and a belly so heavy, he bounced when he laughed <laughs> like a 55 Chevy. A fresh load of rusty parts he had in his pack. No, 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 no! <laughs> no, Rusty! Toys, toys! Really? He didn't bring rusty parts? No, toys! <laughs> Dad, Clanky Claus builds toys in his workshop for good little bots, and he leaves them under the tree. He only leaves rusty parts for bad little bots. Mm, are you sure? <sighs> Just read the book, Dad. <laughs> Okie <Okay>, dokie. <coughs> a fresh load of toys he had in his pack, and he blasted them out with a clickety clack. In the dark of the room, we could just barely see. And Clanky sent presents everywhere but the tree. They pointed and they bonged and they banged everybody. In the dark of the night, they even boing me. When do Zoe and I come in? Only Zoe, only Zoe. Right, now be patient. Then Ole and Zoe slowly crept across the floor. Clanky peered through the dark of the living room door. Ooh. He humped and harumphed and then shook his round head. All good little bots should be up in their beds. We know, said the kids. Evening's not very bright. We wanted to give you a rolling nightlight. <laughs> Old Clanky Claus was touched from his toes to his chin. Here on Jingle Jang's Eve, some presents for him. He flicked on the light, gave the old tree a tweak, and filled all the box socks, then turned with a creak. Kick-starting the engines in his pointy old toes, then with a sly smile up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his ride, his old joints a-clinkin', Away he awoosh, his new nightlight of Lincoln. As he roared out of sight, he said loud and clear, Jingle jangle to all, and good holiday cheer! 